here we are at Grand Grand Pooh Bear and Quack story time and today we're going to do Farmer Duck again because I hear it's quite a favourite. Farmer Duck. Miss Ashford. To Kate. Happy second birthday, love Mummy and Daddy, 6th of June 1992. Quack! Not yet, not yet. There was once a duck, quack, who had the bad luck to live with a lazy old farmer. The duck, quack, not yet, did all the work whilst the farmer stayed all day in bed. That's right, Pooh. You can be the farmer if you like. Oh, can I? Yes, that's a very good idea. Now it's going to get more tricky now I've decided that. Oh, oh. The duck fetched the cow from the field. I should have thought this through. Who oh, goes to work? Asked the farmer. Quack! Answered the duck. I need a third pair of hands. The duck bought the sheep from from the hill. the farmer and the duck answered quack the duck put the hens in the house who goes to work called the farmer the duck answered quack smooth you're very helpful to be duck today quack the farmer got fat. Oh, how rude. Well, you are a bit tubby. Through staying in bed, and the poor duck got fed up with working all day. <laughs> I think it doesn't help if you aren't quite this fat, you know, poo. That's what, what the matter is. It's quite a lot of activity now. Who oh, goes to work? Quack! Who oh, goes to work? Quack! Who oh, goes to work? Quack! Ironing. Who oh, goes to work? Quack! More ironing. Maybe he was doing something else just now. I'll <laughs> walk. Blimey. Who goes to work? Quack! Picking apples. Who goes to work? Quack! The poor duck was sleepy. <laughs> and weeping. <laughs> and tired. <laughs> oh, yes, we all know that. The hens and the cow and the sheep got very upset. They love duck. That's nice. So they held a meeting under the moon and they made a plan for the morning. Moo, said the cow. Ah, said the sheep. Duck, said the hens. And that was the plan. Oh, that's a very good meeting. Yeah. It was just before dawn and the farmer was still a s and the farmyard was still, just still, that's all it was doing. Through the back door and into the house crept the cow and the sheep and the hens. <gasps> Breaking and entering. 
Oh look, they're having to push the cow through because the door's not big enough. It's a bit big. A bit like when, when Daddy tries to go down the slide. Then they stole down the hall, as much as a big heavy cow can, and they creaked up the stairs. They squeezed under the bed of the farmer and wriggled about and the bed started to rock and the farmer woke up and he could and he called Hello Boozer Work and Moo oh, They lifted his bed up and he started to shout and they banged and they bounced the old farmer about and about and about and right out of the bed! Oh no! And he fled with the cow and the sheep and the hens mooing and barring and clucking around him. Who's running down there? You just can't see it. Down the lane. Moo! Through the fields, bah, over the hill, pluck, and he never came back. Hmm, whatever. No, no poo. No, no, no. No, you just have to stay down there for the minute. The duck awoke, and he waddled wearily into the yard, expecting to hear, oh, goes the work. But nobody spoke. Hmm. Anybody there? said the listener, said the traveller. Then the cow and the sheep and the hens came back. Quack, asked the duck. Moo, said the cow. Ah, said the sheep. Duck, said the hens, which told the duck the whole story. Then mooing and barring and quacking, they all set off to work on their own farm. Yay, quack, 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 quack called a cooperative and a takeover and a revolution and that's the end. Wah.